Hello and welcome to the Roy Rogers News Channel. Thank you so much for watching and for today's interview. Well, I had to make a little bit of some accommodations with the studio location because my guest is region locked. Team Rocket YouTube, which I say hello to everybody. Hello everybody and thank you so much best friends for allowing me to be on your Roy Rogers News Channel. I'm honored to be here. I'm glad to have you on too and I'm glad that Giovanni has given you permission to interview you. Yeah, me too. Uh, he does not let me out. The boss does not like me being out at the uh, the HQ for too long, but he allowed, he greenlit this interview, so here we are. Excellent. Alright. And thank you so much for helping me out with the video parameters off camera. I know that some people are probably wondering, hey Roy, so what's going on with the black lines at the left and right of your screen? And that's a good question. Team Rocket YouTube has helped me out, so I appreciate him for helping me out with straightening out the video parameters. So thank you again. Yeah, absolutely. No problem, no problem. Always happy to help. Excellent. And without further ado, Team Rocket Harry, enough about me. Let's go ahead and do our interview, shall we? Are you ready, Team Rocket YouTube? Yes, I am ready to rumble. Let's get into it. Excellent. All right. SpongeBob reference there. All right. <laughs> So, question number one. How long have you been playing Pokemon, my friend? So, I started playing Pokemon on December 16th, 2023, which will be exactly seven months in five days. Wow. Oof. That's awesome, man. Now, yep. what activity do you enjoy doing in game? Do you like the competitive scene? Do you like shiny hunting? What sort of activity do you like doing off camera? The activity that I like to do isn't per se a specific activity, but it's mainly just making progress towards my region lock account. Like just it's my self-imposed challenges making progress toward that, whether it be shiny hunting, going for that in-region or out-of-region shiny, hunting a legendary. I had a, a lot of fun. I mean, it was stressful, but, don't, but I, it was really satisfying to get Mewtwo and get legendaries done for that challenge. Uh, so mainly just making like progress on my self-imposed challenge on my account is really what keeps me going and, and really inspires me to keep playing. That's awesome, man. Now, when did you aspire to become a content creator? So technically, I started uh, making content a decade ago, and it wasn't really out of aspiration of quote unquote being a content creator, but I mainly just wanted to kind of like show off what I was doing in game, I guess. Like I, I just cared about sharing that for whatever reason. Uh, and I, I literally started making uh, in Minecraft when I was 14, you know, recording in a bandy cam trial on um, 20, 25 FPS, making like Minecraft PvP faction videos. Uh, so, you know, it definitely came a long way, and uh, as far as, like, when I decided I wanted to be a content creator, I did used to make uh, Rust content, and then I made, like, the ultimate decision that I wanted to be a content creator for that game, uh, but due to some technical difficulties, I'm unable to play that game anymore, and I, uh, you know, I found this game, and I was like, you know what, I, I, you know, this game is amazing, I really love this game, and I, I think... Uh, I, I really want to be a contributing factor towards growing it. I made the decision to be a Pokemon YouTuber on January 1st, that's when the channel was created, 2024. Wow! celebrate the new year congratulations yeah I, it's super clean because i love clicking on my channel and like seeing the creation date it's literally just january 1st like 2024 like it's the clean date you know wow Woof. by golly so do you have a favorite stream or video that you made so far so my favorite video i've ever made as far as like uh as a content creator my entire career was uh, the rust movie that i had made on my rust youtube channel however in terms of poke mmo um, I, I have, I want to give you like two different answers for this. So I have a favorite stream and a favorite video, if you, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. So as far as, uh, my favorite stream, uh, it's my, the one that I did recently where I, uh, said Petrowski's name for 16 hours straight, just because that challenge, that challenge stream pushed me to my limits as far as, you know, just doing a challenge. Like I've never done a challenge like that. And I haven't been so like physically stressful. Like I've done the, the Pokemon push up challenge where you do 20 push ups every 100 encounters until you get a shiny. I've done, you know, I'm doing the region lock challenge, but man, saying Petrowski's name for 16 hours straight, like there were points where I almost passed out. I had to focus on my breathing. Like it really, it was, it was really difficult at certain parts. And uh, I think that's what made me really enjoy it, like the challenge itself. Wow. Uh, so as, as far as streams are concerned, that's my favorite. Um, as far as a favorite uh, video in Pokemon ever, it would have to be my I ran a bit uh, Pokemon business for a week video. Absolutely. Certainly. Yeah, and the Roy Rogers channel does have a similar video with a theme to it, you know, starting up a service. So hopefully that video complements well with your video. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, I think box selling services and stuff like that is a really good lucrative way to make money and also contribute to the community. A lot of people need a, a male breeders for, you know, egg hunts and all that good stuff. Certainly. Now, I want to go back a little bit. I'm a little bit perplexed about this, and I know that some people are probably wondering about this. So, can you explain a little bit about this push-up challenge, or saying Petrowski's name 60-something times? <laughs> can you just elaborate to my audience about this? Because I'm a bit perplexed about this, and 
you know, my friend and colleague Petrosky, there's nothing wrong saying with your name 60 something times, but you know, man, that's some real dedication there. So I may, I may have misspoke, uh, as far as the stream with uh, saying Petrowski's name is concerned, I did a, a live stream, like a challenge where I was saying like Petrowski's actual name, like Petrowski, Petrowski, Petr I was saying that for like, uh, 16 hours straight. Um, that's how long I had done it. And the, the challenge was to say his name until I got a shiny. That was the whole point of the challenge. And that just really pushed me to my limits. Wow. Um, as far as the push-up challenge is concerned, I was I made a video called uh, I Replaced the Gym with Poke MMO. Uh, and in that video, I, I had undertook a challenge. I started at 80,000 encounters, and I was just doing push-ups every... I was doing 20 push-ups every 100 encounters until I got a shiny, and I didn't end up getting the shiny until nearly 200k encounters. So I, I ended up doing over 17,000 push-ups throughout the entirety of that challenge. That's awesome. Wow. That's a real dedication. And my guess is that you're probably really fit with all those push-ups, right? Oh, yeah. It, it, honestly, it, I, I've been going to the you know gym consistently lifting weights for like a decade now. And um, I will say like my I've noticed a lot of like improvements in my posture and my overall health just by doing the push-ups daily. Because I, I don't want to say I never did push-ups, but I never really prioritized them to the point where I did as many as I did. And I think it was really beneficial for my health overall. That's awesome. Now, going back to poke ML stuff, I would like to ask about this particular question. So what was your most memorable content creation moment? So that's a very good question. I'm glad you asked that. I have so many good memories in this game uh, from you know a content creation point of view. Like I have all the events that I've hosted, like the Metronome tournament and, and this you know most recent catch event that like so many memories from that, the skits that I've done with everybody in the community, you know, like the how to get a girlfriend video and having it, you know, doing work with that on everybody I had a lot of fun. All the collabs that I've done, like stuff of Smooge and all that good stuff, like the tournament that we did. But but like if if I had to put my thumb on just like one video that like really like stopping one moment of content creation uh, is when I I so that you know I mentioned I ran a Pokemon MMO business for a week was like my favorite video of all time right so like I I had a on I actually know the exact date when it happened because I was recording at like this moment six out like a sore thumb on February twenty sixth twenty twenty four at exactly one fifty p.m. I was watching uh, Petrowski stream like I like I usually would you know throughout the week. And I went up to go get some food. And when I had came back, he was literally like playing my video on stream. And I have my, my like live reaction when I saw it. But when I saw that, like it blew my mind. I was like, oh my. And just like, like this, that moment itself was just such like a cool moment. Cause I would have never expected like a, a video that I made for a game I'm so passionate about to be on like one of the like bigger content creator streams of all places. Like and it just blew my mind. So like that moment like just sticks out to me uh, particularly. Well, quite frankly, I don't blame Petrowski for doing that. I mean, considering the fact that you put a lot of time in work in your production. I mean, that's certainly something that is very commendable and I'm very happy for you. Yeah, I was, you know, when I, when that moment happened, like my eyes lit up, I was completely dazed. Like I didn't even know how to react. It was like that moment, like I've been making content for over a decade. I've never had another creator that was larger than me play their content on their platform. So it was just kind of like a really, you know, this community is amazing. It was really kind of eye opening. I've never had something like that happen to me before. Yeah, certainly. And it's very rare that Petrasky would play content from other content creators on his platform because yeah i mean that you would really have to do a serious impact to do that so i commend you for the amount of effort and a lot of time that you've done on your content and i would like to congratulate you once again for your wonderful video publications oh, thank you so much man i appreciate it yeah certainly now going to your personal life and game what's your most memorable shiny my friend my magic conch my shiny shelter that i have next to me right now uh, I went so unbelievably dry on my first shiny hunt and recorded on GEC's uh, encounter counter. I had 195k, but I, I'm telling you, man, I had at least 220, 230, uh, just because there were some encounters that, like, sometimes I forget to have the encounter counter up or, like, we kind of lowballed my first estimate. Like, I, I went well over 200k encounters on that first shiny, and just when I finally got it, like, it, it I don't know, it was just the, the sense of relief and the fact that it was a shelter of all mine. Like, it just, I was so happy to get that. You and the Spongebob references, man. I mean, that's like two times in my video. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sounding like Spongebob's the biggest fan out here, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, Tom Kenny's going to be really proud of you, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, there we go. But how did you find Pokemon, my friend? So I, I've touched base on this on uh, Young Cabbage's podcast, if anybody has uh, seen that episode. But when I... Uh, 
the way that I had found Pokemon was actually pretty and pretty interesting story. I had gotten really addicted to playing Leaf Green after I'd found my uh, original Game Boy, my original copy of Leaf Green. I, I found it and I was like, oh my, I can play Pokemon again. So I just, I completely like no life the game. I was playing it all day for like, you know, six, seven hours a day. I, you know, I was getting kind of obsessed with it. And I had left my, uh, my Game Boy charger at my girlfriend at the time's house. So I couldn't play like the, the game at all. Like my Game Boy died, I couldn't play. And I was devastated and I didn't know what to do. So I looked up on like online Pokemon game. Cause I figured like, Hey, you can like probably play this on the computer. And it came up with like a top five or a top 10 video. And I was just picking the one that like had Kanto in it. I saw that this looked like the most polished and I saw that there was the Kanto region. So I was like, Oh, I'll just play this one. So I just picked it on a whim. It wasn't like someone recommended it to me. I just picked it and I, you know, I just so happened to land on one of the greatest Pokemon games ever made. Now, before we start to close out, do you have any advice to give people that want to contribute to Pokemon or even people that just want to do content creation? Because I see that you made a really informative video about how to do content creation. And do you have any advice for our audience here? If I could give any advice to anybody who wanted to contribute to, to Pokemon, whether it be for like content creation or just like the community in general, it's just do something that adds value where there currently is a lack thereof. And what I mean by that is don't dilute the space by recreating the same content that people in our community have already perfectly fleshed out. Like this game is so unique and has so much potential for content. There's no need to reinvent the wheel like that. It, and that's just in terms of content creation, in terms of contributing to the community itself, just be kind, help your fellow player out, like be active on, on like the game, social media and other, you know, advertising the game. And, uh, you know, us players are a huge factor in growing this game even further. And it, like this game is so low key right now and has so much potential. It's such a great MMO. Uh, we should be doing everything in our powers to help gr help grow that game and, and help with growth. So, you know, that's why I started making videos. And I feel like if you are going to, if you'd like to contribute to the, you know, the content side of things with the community just you know being in for the right reasons i guess certainly yeah and if you're in for the wrong reasons everybody's going to find out and then you're going to do poorly so make sure you're in for the right reasons and also i've been here since 2014 and i've seen plenty of people come and go but if there's one thing i would like to note it's that there are wonderful talent out there especially talent like team rocket youtube and also young cabbage and petrowski and remel and so many other content creators out there that are wonderful and they're out there trying to make an impact here on Pokemon. I commend their effort. I'm also very thankful of the staff team that also try to contribute to Pokemon, answer the questions for people in game and the global chat. And also I'm very thankful for the players and the team leaders that try to create a nice environment for the game. And I'm very thankful for everybody just trying to do what they can in their capacity to make this game as fun as possible. So you all make a terrific impact here on PokeMO, and I commend all of you for your contributions here on PokeMO. Oh, thank you, man. Uh, would I be able to make one last closing thought? Sure. I just want the last last thing I wanted to say. I just I just wanted to say I'm absolutely honored to be in the position that I'm in. And you know, life isn't perfect. It's gonna throw some curveballs, but one thing is absolutely certain. I will do everything in my power to help grow this amazing gaming community. And I'd like to thank everyone, like you said, who has made content for this game and helped help the game breathing. You know, there were times where this game it was even less popular than it is now, and people stuck by it because they saw the potential. So you guys are amazing, and you know, thank you so much, uh, best friends, for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. Certainly, and thank you so much for your time here on the Roy Rogers News Channel. Yeah, thank you for having me, man. Excellent. And without further ado, let's go ahead and sign off. This is the Roy Rogers News Channel. Don't forget to comment down to our channel like the that you here. And if you would like to see a more detailed interview of Team Rocket YouTube, then you can tune in to Young Cabbage's podcast. And I can link that down in the description below. And he does some really great work on his channel. And this is the Roy Rogers News Channel. Don't forget to comment down to our channel like the that you here. And this will be Roy Rogers Channel signing off. Fast, accurate, unbiased, Roy Rogers News.